I've been checking out the Gota Hill all night to the sky. I want to show you what I caught. You can see the longitude and longitude, longitude elevation, 10,000 feet. You can see pretty clear what I'm going to show you. This is, see, this is 11, 2 11, 10 30 at night. My time, California. Anyway, check this out. Watch the video to the end. You'll see some amazing stuff. There's something really going on. Uh, this is a little warning. Uh, check it out. Leave a comment. Okay, you're looking at uh, the Dakota Hills right here. Fort Peck Indian Reservation. So there's a fort here. Fort Peck. Um... Fort Peck Indian Reservation. I think down here is a Fort Peck right here. Fort Peck, Montana. So this is cruising. These are all cruising right over to the show. Watch. I remember yesterday I showed you a video at uh, Bozeman Airport in Alaska. All right. Bozeman Pass. Okay, and I showed you that portal opening up. But here we go. Today we were down here in Montana or Colorado at Dakota Hill. Okay, let's continue. They get a view of it. So here we go. I'm uh, convinced. So I did some cleanup on these. I mean, these are not stars. At first, when I went by this this picture earlier, but now I've seen those balloons clear. These are not stars. I think this is very important to see. Share it with about three or four friends. Some of them got the three items behind it. So I was thinking, why would they do this? Because you don't know which one's going to have the mother load. I think this is very important to see. Share it with about three or four friends. There are small ones over here. These are still pretty high up. See how they're formated? In formation. At least those were in formation. These are not. I think this is very important to see. Share it with about three or four friends. Swarms of them. Well. Don't lose no sleep over my video, guys. Give your life to Jesus today. You know? Only one way left. One way, one life, and one truth. It's the way of life and the truth. It's the way of life. It's the only truth. One, two, three. Balloon. Carrying a load. Look at this. One. Stuff underneath it. Not stars. I'm spending time on this because I want you guys to see what's in the sky. Swarms of them. So which one's got the payload? Which one did they shoot out of the air? What countries are coming from? studio right now it's about 10 o'clock here in california and i'm on magnification eight so see what this thing is let's do it by contrast only it's definitely reflecting the light look at this one now i wanted to see see the where i say it's like baggage let's do this do a sweep on it. See if it's got an energy source. If it's got an energy source, then you'll see it. If it's just reflecting, you'll see it. It'll go away. See, it's just reflecting the light around it. Moonlight or whatever.
no UFOs, clone. These are definitely balloons. You can see three items underneath, pretty big size boxes strapped to this object. Up here, it's just, you know, if there is, I don't see them, but. Yeah. This is very important to see. Share it with about three or four friends. Uh huh. Way I get on the edge here throws a different that the, whatever lights on the balloon throw on the it looks like a balloon on the objects. Something there now. When all else fails, get out the luminous grantus. Okay, yep, look at that. One, two, three, four. The fourth one's slight on the right. One up here has got one object. I'm just gonna lightly scan the sky for any objects I can't see with my eye. That's my veteran. This is very important to see. Share it with about three or four friends. I'm just scanning the sky, guys. Watch. See, if I scan down here and I run into it, you'll see what it looks like. We know it looks like a light, like a balloon. Same with that one. So, I've done this and actually found stuff. Went back up pictures and actually found objects. There's one right there. See where my pointer is down here? So there's another object that's similar to those other ones. It's another balloon or something. I just can't see it with my naked eye. Anyways, this is a little forensic tool that I like. There's another little object. It's way out there. Yeah, there's a few things in the sky right there, something too. Anyways, just to show you that, um, let me see what else I can find. Let's look at this one. Uh, the blue one, remember the blue one? Yeah, let's look at that one. Three, four items, yep. Yeah. Let's just go to magnifier, contrast. Contrast gives you a box. This was happening around 120, this object. Then the other ones that got later, I was sitting here watching them and I got more pictures on them. That's a pretty unique object. It's in a, it looks like it's in a sphere or not like a square or a cube, cub cubicle size. Um, so, you know, give me a project. I'm going to go find me some balloons. So, I found some guys and uh, pretty amazing. Let me show you another picture. This one down. Let me see. Right here. Yeah, that was an extra object that came in. Like this one, I think, is a UFO or drone. Because these objects are just sitting there in the tree line. I have to go by contrast by channel. So show me some, yeah, that a deeper. Yeah, I don't know what that is, guys. This object flew down from about here. Now, if I scan the sky again, like we did before, let's intensify it. This is very important to see. Share it with about three or four friends. And make sure you hit that subscribe button, folks. If you're new here, um, I've connected to Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, um, Twitter. And, you know, I'm shadow banned a little bit. Where I should be getting 20,000 hits on a video like this, I get about two. So share, share, share. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for subscribing and sharing. Real objects. Oh.
right, we'll get the work. There's those other two objects. I think those are all orbs. So it's UFOs and balloons? I don't know. Okay, this one, I think I showed you earlier. I'm not sure, but watch this. I'm going to go forward. Okay, take out the dehaze. Okay. Keep going forward. 5K it. You can see this one dragging some stuff behind it. Okay, now I cleared it up a little bit right there. It's dragging some instruments right there. So what I'm gonna do is take a picture of this. And a forensic tool can see through the, you know, through the darkness. So let's do that. Let's take it to my forensic tool. I'll be right back. Now this one's about 45 minutes later, it's about 45, 43 minutes later. What I'm doing is I'm taking the noise out and then 5K in them, that's it. You can see they're just out there floating. Um, last ones I showed you down here. But as you see it gets darker, more fog comes in to the fog rolling in. So I'm going to keep trying to find these shots, so hang on. Here you go, here's a couple more. They're up to uh, 3K, let's go, 5K. 4K, 5K, 5K. That's what you're seeing, this looks like a balloon. There's a balloon. There's another picture. This is three o'clock in the morning, Dakota Hill, south, UTC time. Um, down here you still have this. Over here you have the valley. It's like, um, I guess, a little town right in there. It's the later it gets, the, the darker it gets. Um, let me show you another one. Okay, you're looking at uh, the Dakota Hills right here. Fort Peck Indian Reservation. So there's a fort here, Fort Peck. Um, Fort Peck Indian Reservation. I think down here is a Fort Peck right here. Fort Peck, Montana. So this is cruising. These are all cruising right over to the show. Watch. As you can see right here, that's a perfectly round balloon. What? See these objects behind it. Let's go to the level sweep. See what they look like. There's definitely something there. That's what it looks like. Opacity. Bring it up. So I'm trying to see this. See what's behind it? There's your lights, balloon. Trying to see that, folks. See that right there? Pretty clear shot, right? Let's try something different. There you go. You can see the three objects. I'm trying to see what the three objects are. As you can see, there's an object. We're in our, our forensic tool. There's definitely an object. Looks like three things inside it. Um, I possibly could get a better shot than that. There you go. It just kind of gives you the outlay of it. 
There's a, what's tagging behind that one. Okay, you got that? That's my forensic tool I was telling you about. I showed you earlier. Now go ahead and we were looking at this area. I actually think these are some kind of ground light or some kind of station. I'm not sure. In the mountain, in the ground. This is all tree line. These are definitely orbs or balloons. They look like balloons to you. There's some type of device. And I see this one has something behind it. And uh, I'm gonna take a snapshot of that and take it to the forensic, okay? So I'll be back with that. Check that out. Those are balloons, balloons. Let's see. We got more. Let me look at them. Why I'm in here. Takes a second to get there. I'm, this file is just my... I'm going to say that. We got to maximize 3,000. 3K. Save that one. So I'm still in the same area here, people. I'm just picking photos. These ones right here, they're really clear like balloons. Look at that. What in the world? There's another one or two up here. They're like balloons, see? So, they're all balloons. You guys see that? They're balloons. This one's got some kind of balloon with something on it. Let's see if I can find some more, okay? Yeah, I think this is the last shot I found. This one has two items. Before we showed you the one big item, the blue item and all that. The two between the trees. So whatever's happening here, it's happening over the city area. There's like a town here. So, and these things are right above the town. So what town is this? Let me show you a map, Dakota Hill. This is, I believe, the United States. I'll show you a map. Hang on. I just keep finding more footage on this location in uh, Dakota Hill. You can see these two objects coming over the horizon. When I put them all together, you're going to see it's just a swarm of stuff going on. Let's maximize that to... About 4K, 5K. Two more objects. You see the atmosphere around them just being disturbed when I focus in on them. Anyways, we'll stash those away. Put them in the next show. I'm doing it real time right in front of you people. the other shot came up this one was first rising and the one that was over here is the second one and then the blue one's the third one so it's pretty pretty intense um these look like more like ufos or orbs or something not like balloons they have a lot of light anyways i maximize these things up to let's go up to 10k That's not a building light. That's a, see how it's like a stop sign? Octagon. UFO.
want you guys to see that. Same location. Look at that object. Okay. I looked at these. This is part of a light system. And it seems to be stuff, um, military or something down there. Airport, airport lights. Did you see that item? Is that a balloon? Or a UFO? I don't know. Pretty wild. We're in, uh, Dakota Hills. Yeah. Dakota Hills. So, we're at the end of the video here, and I like to say this to the new people watching, um, I go to the extreme, disabled, I've got a lot of time on my hands, you know, um, I could walk and all that, no problem, and I could shop, but um, I'm trying to build an income this way, and so it's going slow, but I don't quit, six years, it's going very slow on income. Anyways, um, I always bring you raw footage, this I bring in you real time. I uh, do it in real time, then I take it and I really trip it out so you can see, feel it, hear it. Music I choose on this one. A lot of times I use footage from Facebook, so if you put footage up there on within my grab, then I ask permission to go on. Sometimes I don't ask permission because i um, just so busy I forget to, so you know, forgive me for that. But subscribe right now, hit the button, share it to three friends. And um, I got other stuff I got to show you, but I'm spending time on this video to really let you know what the balloons look like and what some of the UFO findings like this blue thing is, you know. And so as we go on here, the blue thing, um, to me, it's some type of cube type of UFO. Or that is a CGI cutout put on top of this guy, not by me but by starshade which a lot of you understand check it out google starshade uh nasa starshade and you'll understand what i'm talking about but i'll see you at the next video thanks for coming and uh get ready some crazy stuff i'm going to show you next <laughs>